How do books become a bestseller? Well, you got to market them. You got to write a good book and the people have to go crazy for it. So, you know, in business, you know, they got this poker face thing where you don't want to give up emotion. Let me tell you, brother Derek, if people don't get emotional about your art, they're not buying. So I'm on the opposite side of the spectrum. If I don't get people excited, they're not buying the book. They're not watching the movie on TV. So my books have to be emotional. I have to do a lot of marketing and promoting. And uh, this year we're going to do a huge tour, 30 cities. And we want to get some of those influences with us. We're going to get the celebrity interviews and all of that. So we're going to be all over TV, all over the radio, all over the podcast. So I have to be one of the most popular guys on the planet this year. That's how you sell books. Everybody knows who Tyler Perry is. Everybody knows who Jay-Z is. Everybody knows who Beyonce is. So if you want to sell stuff, they have to know who you are. That's why you need capital so you can push all the PR people. A lot of times they have deals, there where it's like, okay, I know so-and-so, but I'm not going to talk to so-and-so if you're not in business with me. And so a lot of times you have to marry yourself to individuals who can get you on certain shows. Tyler Perry did that. Then he ended up sitting right next to Oprah Winfrey. You can't sit next to Oprah Winfrey unless she invites you on there. He said it several times, there. There's levels to this. So to go up to that next level, you got to get your capital right. That's what we're working on now.